I got my new decals from the lady today. The Alabama DS, I kind of messed up putting it on there, but. So I'll be throwing that in with the other decals uh, for the people that's uh, requested them on Instagram, Alabama underscore DS. Well, I've had a couple people comment that they want to get an adventure bike, a bigger adventure bike, like the V-Strom or a big GS, uh, Africa Twin, whatever. I figured I'd compare these two bikes. This, a KLR, and uh, compared to my V-Strom. This pond here, I fell in it years ago with my uh, Arctic Cat four-wheel drive, four-wheeler on that side. Uh, it had rained a bunch, so you couldn't tell where the edge of the pond was. I got too close, it rolled over in the pond. I don't know how to swim, so I found a, uh, with my foot, I felt a little nub, I guess it was an old stump, and that's what held my uh, mouth and nose above water while I pushed the four-wheeler off of me, because it was kind of floating upside down and got out. Thought I was going to drown that day. Random fact, a random story, whatever. A true story. I figured I'd point out some of the positive and negatives uh, about the KLR and the V-Strom. And some of them could go either way, just according to who you are and what you're doing. Second time doing this video, I went off riding and did it. Got back home, there wasn't anything on my SD card. Or a bunch of empty files for some reason. Uh, positive for off-road. There might be a couple of deer out there. Positive for off-road. This thing has the 21-inch front wheel. And they're spoked. So you run in a tube in a tire. For going on a long trip, I consider that uh, the spoked wheels or having a tube as a negative. You run over a nail, you know, you gotta patch the tube or replace the tube. Uh, V-Strom has a cast wheel, which I consider a negative for off-road. And it's a smaller front wheel. So it's harder. Bigger front wheel helps you get over stuff. But if you, man, deer tracks all out here. I know they like this corn. But if you have uh, have a flat on the highway when you're traveling, you can put a plug in the tire and go. As long as the hole ain't in the sidewall, cut sidewall or something. Uh, Positive for the KLR is the fuel mileage if you're covering a bunch of miles. It gets better on fuel than that 1,000. Some people don't care. They ride their bike on the weekend and don't care what kind of fuel mileage it gets. I do. Uh, sounds silly, but I like to get good fuel mileage. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it don't get too wet over here. Uh, another positive or negative, according to which way you look at it. KLR is carbureted. v strong fuel injected. A lot, seem like a lot of younger people are scared to dislike having a bike with a carburetor. More than likely, it's because they don't understand it. Uh, kind of like older people that don't understand fuel injection. So that could go either way as well. What they looking at? Looking for deer, probably. Uh, What's well, something? Oh, wait. The V-Strom is about 515, 510 wet weight. This Gen 1 KLR 
is listed as 370 something pounds wet weight. I think the Gen 2 is about 430 pounds. It's wet out here. Uh, suspension travel and ground clearance is two huge things off-road. And the KLR has that in the bag. I know the Gen 1's got a decent amount more travel than the uh, Gen 2, but either one has a lot more ground clearance and uh, travel, boy that's soft, than the V-Strong. Another thing that I can uh, think of is if you're riding a passenger, I wouldn't want to go very far on a KLR with a passenger. Uh, I don't ride a passenger on my bike anyhow. I mean, if somebody's broke down or something, I will, but my wife don't ride with me. Colby don't ride with me. Uh, so it's a non-issue to me. But if I was riding a passenger, going on a trip especially, I'd take the V-Strom any day over the, uh, any day with a passenger over the KLR. Another thing is uh, horsepower and torque, but just say, just generally a KLR is around 40 horsepower compared to the V-Strom, which my, my V-Strom is an old one, and it's rated, what I looked up today was 98 point something horsepower, so about 100 horsepower versus 40. Uh, this 40 horsepower will get get anything done. Also, this KLR is a five-speed. V-Strom's a six-speed. Uh, five-speed on a KLR is no big deal to me. Uh, if you're doing a bunch of highway traveling, you might want to go to a 16-tooth. Or just uh, keep your interstate speed around 70, even with a 15 tooth, and you'll be fine. I was gonna ride through a field here, but uh, they done disc it up, getting ready to plant something. Also, I would say. Uh, I would say the park availability for the KLR is a lot better as far as the used market. Say you need a cylinder or a bottom end or a brake caliper, uh, anything like that. You can go on eBay or wherever there's some salvage bike places and get parts. That V-Strom the parts are not going to be as plentiful, uh, you know, used. If I need a cylinder for it or a bottom end, you know, you're going to pay a lot more money. On the highway, a long ride, V-Strom hands down, uh, off-road, KLR hands down. Reliability. I've only had the V-Strom, I guess, a few weeks. Uh, put 1,500, 2,000 miles on it, something like that. I don't think quite 2,000, because I have ridden this some. And uh, I'd still give reliability to the KLR. Uh, maintenance, ease of maintenance, uh, inexpensive upkeep, I'd go with the KLR. Uh, what else? V-Strom, you know, I hadn't did much maintenance because when I got it, Mr. Tony already had new tires put on it and he had the uh, a 
service done on it so I hadn't done anything but put gas in it and uh, lube the chain so see what they got planted out here What else am I forgetting? Oh, KLR Community. If you're working on a bike, need advice what to buy, KLR's got a great community. Uh, of course, like anywhere else, you got some, still saw it out here. Like anywhere else, you still got some knuckleheads. Uh, but there's some real uh, knowledgeable people that can help you out with whatever you're doing. I would say for the guys, since I've had a couple comment that they want to get a big adventure bike, I would say if you have a KLR and you want to do some uh, more comfortable long distance riding, uh, I'd say go for it. But don't get rid of your KLR if you can. If you can have two bikes and get you a big adventure bike and keep your KLR. Uh, if you can only have one bike, I just keep the KLR and upgrade it however you want it. They got so many, uh, that's another thing, so many uh, available add-ons for the KLR that you can uh, make it into whatever you want. This one's more geared towards dirt riding. You can uh, put some street tires on one and uh, and make it more street oriented. Gear it up, put that 16 2 front sprocket, and run down the highway with it. Uh, I know if I could only have one bike between those two, I would uh, still take the KLR over the V Strom as a do it all bike. It'll get it all done. Just like anything else, everything's a compromise. Thanks for watching. About the only thing I can think of left is uh, would be styling. There, uh, uh, people's got different tastes. Uh, some people think the Gen One is is ugly some people think the gen 2 is ugly and i really wasn't a fan of the look of the v-strom but uh now the new v-strom it looks looks real good See, i always thought uh bmw gs was ugly i never liked them but i uh i rode with a couple on a good little one thing we did like it wouldn't there's a group out of Pensacola, I think, uh, CMC Riders, are out of Florida. We did about 450 miles that day, and one, two, about five GSs, <coughs> excuse me, rode with us. One was like a, maybe a 700, one was an 800, and then a few of them was the big ones, whatever that is, 1200, 1250, brand new. And after that, I've actually liked them a pretty good bit. Let's see if I can get over this, get over here to the pond. There we go. I know it'll fit because I rode across it before. The pond's got all that green stuff from them cypress trees in it. But uh, other than that, styling. Uh, V-Strom's grown on me, kind of like a, kind of like a high boost. I always thought they were ugly, but your taste changed. It's like a Harley, those baggers, uh, road glide, street glide, and all that. I never liked them. Now I like them. I guess taste change when you get old. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's all I can think of now. If you can think of something else, it's a plus or minus on either one of the bikes. Leave it down in the comments. 
you want a decal message me message me on instagram alabama underscore ds and thanks for watching and uh like and subscribe